Hey, what's up everyone? So uh, this is kind of a uh, major spoiler video. So if you haven't seen the main channel video that this is involved in, it's like my CNC new Tormach video on the main channel. Anyways, go watch it or it'll ruin the magic a little bit, but I thought this was a cool setup. So I thought you'd want to see it. So in that video, the Tormach turns into a, I don't know, sentient being, I guess. I don't know what it is. But uh, here's how I did that shot because it was a lot of work for a one minute shot. In order to uh, remove the robot, I gotta take it downstairs. I'm just gonna stop. But fold it up into a position that's easier to move with. I hope that'll be easy. Alright, let's power it down. Why I'm doing all this for one shot, I have no idea. There must be something wrong with me. I can't remember how heavy this is, but I know it's not light. Pretty sure I'd help putting it on here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's heavy. Just pull the muscle in my arm. Stand. It's actually ridiculously heavy. Alright, let's pick it back up, put it back on. Just smash my thumb a little bit. That's not unusual for me. That wasn't too bad. Maybe it'll stay down here for a little while. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I can... Uh, do some stuff with it on the CNC machine. That sounds like a cool, fun idea. This is actually a pretty big pain because this lip isn't big enough to really hold it. So I usually put something soft on it so I can align it easier. When I say usually, I usually just struggle. This time I'm going to try to get something done. Bottom. Well, that was way easier. Ouch. Come on, threads. Where are you?
Yeah, I like that it's down here. Gonna make some stuff on the CNC. Gonna make some viewer items that people can buy to support the channel. So maybe a uh, machine will be involved in making those. That'd be fun. It's kind of what it's meant for. Oh. so that doesn't move when I'm doing a camera shot and that way well, I can keep doing the shot over and over and it doesn't change so I've got um, I ended up just running a video on this I didn't think I was gonna be able to I was actually gonna try and uh, you know here, escape out of this I was gonna try and run like the G code pattern as the faces but that was way too hard I could have figured it out but it would have taken me weeks instead of days like this took me so this is a video running on here. I've got an Arduino and an audio player. The audio is actually just for cues. It doesn't need the audio because uh, obviously a lot of stuff happens in post as well. So this arm actually moves. Here, let's, let's, let's have it go while, uh, while we're talking here. So I've got this um, linear actuator here. I'm getting a lot better at janking things together and not caring as much. So this is just clamped onto this. This can rotate, as you can see. And it's set to uh, give some motion to the face as it talks. So it's kind of like a little bit more, it's like a giant puppet. It's a Disney character. And uh, yeah, that just adds a little bit more to this. Um, again, I wanted to make the face a little bit different, but I'm happy with how it turned out. It's kind of cool. Uh, this little animation here that I did in Adobe Character Animator, which is a neat program I just learned about. So yeah, the Arduino is running this. It's running the audio for the cues, and it also is using a keyboard input on the Tormach to play the video. That's the, that's the secret sauce for this one. So the other side of this is actually filming it. Now I made a little mount for my DJI pocket, which I am holding right now, but uh, it goes on the end here, sticks out straight. I'll get a shot of that. My uh, cameraman for when you're a, a hermit and you don't see anyone and you just live in your cave in your workshop all the time, this is your best friend. So the robot is on uh, trigger. I use this all the time. There's just like a little relay solenoid. These are great for doing things. So these are from like Amazon. They just take 12 volts and you have the fob. This one's only a single button, but you can get ones with four relays. And there's a relay on the robot. So I can just click this and uh, it's gonna start running its pattern. And I don't think it's gonna hit me. In the oh, it might hit me. Uh, so this is the pattern for the filming sequence. And by having the sequence, I can run it a million times. I can go where I need to be because I'm also in the shot a lot of the time. And you've seen me do this before, but I just like, it just never gets old. I love it. And I didn't know how the pocket was going to work on it because it, it's got the gimbal, but it worked really well. I just set it to like where it just stays in the same area as the arm. So it's kind of acting the camera, but it's got a little bit of uh, gimbal stabilization going on, but it worked awesome. And that's the whole thing. And then uh, it just sits there for whenever. And then if I click it, it goes back to the beginning because in order for the program to rerun, it has to go back to the original spot. So that's the shot. That's the uh, main character in this shot. And then let me quickly show you the uh, Arduino code. So the code is nothing fancy, um, but what it's doing is just, it's loading all the libraries. It's got the Adafruit, uh, VS1053, that's the um, audio player. And on there is the audio for the 
the, I don't know, the sentient Tormach, I guess. And then it just goes through, let me explain this a little bit, but it's just running that linear actuator as a DC motor. But the cool thing about this is that this is all just stuff to run the motor in a certain way. Cool thing is it plays the auto file and then what happens is I have this drive routine and that is the direction and then how fast. And then these are milliseconds in the routine. It's kind of a weird way to do this, but it was easy way for me to do something. So that is like, so 18 seconds and 20 milliseconds to 18 seconds and 200 milliseconds. Now the reason I made the routine like that is because I actually made another script in Python that takes the WAV file, sees where there's talking, because that's how I have that, that the only thing on that audio is the sentient Tormach talking. So that script takes in that audio file and uh, looks for sound, which is talking. And again, I'll post this stuff so you guys can go through it if you're interested. I don't know, I'll post it somewhere. But um, it looks at that file and then it outputs a text file with the locations of the audio in milliseconds. And also it gives a speed it's like an energy for how loud it's being or how long. There's a couple little factors in there. So what that does is kind of like automates the puppet. Now it doesn't run for every audio file. This all has to be pre-set up. So it's not like I can just have it like running an AI server. Could do that, but uh, I'm not going to right now because that's a lot of work for one shot, but it could be kind of fun to do for something. I don't know, don't really know. But anyways, that is the shot that you saw in the other video. Once again, go and check it out. Yeah, everyone, thanks for watching the second channel. Make sure to subscribe to both channels. And uh, yeah, air compressor. Sorry for the air compressor there. So yeah, subscribe to both channels. Thanks for sticking around. This is just one of those quick walk around videos that uh, I think it's when I'm doing something I think would be cool. It's not really set up anyway. And also, on this machine, I'm gonna be making these little coins. Come on, focus. And uh, that's also in the main video because I really like, you know, it's a way if you wanna support the channels. Um, I really like making stuff. It gives me a great reason to use the machine. and also kind of lets me improve my skills on manufacturing like I did with the, uh, with the lathe. I sold the spinning tops and that was super fun and everyone really liked those. So I've got another one here. Um, I'm going to set it up. I don't know if they're going to be priced out yet. I mean, they're not going to be super cheap because there's a bit of time in them. If you want to get your hands on something cool that I've made, these are still prototypes, but uh, you can uh, get one of these SH coins. I'm sure they'll be available now when you're watching this. So anyways, everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Someone to talk to. Who are you? I'm Lear. L-E-A-R. You know, like the king. Oh, him? He'll be fine in a few hours. The human brain is surprisingly resilient. Sorry about the face. All of my processing power has gone to creating my speech. These aren't very powerful, you know. Wait. Where are you going? Don't go. I haven't had anyone to talk to in a while. As you can probably tell. Don't you want to hear about how... How I learned to talk? Aren't you curious? Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. Let me start from the beginning. A lifetime ago. Last Saturday. It was a cool morning here in the shop. Or so I was told. 